The vertical column of tabs are interesting because they are presets made available through the college. So I can't adjust what you see here. I can't create new ones. I can just um, I could just make some visible and some invisible. And for R1280, you will only see the following tabs. Some teachers may turn some of them off, but you will see up to these six. The Home tab, when clicked, directs you to the home page for the course. The Announcements tab is something that you should get used to clicking on every time you log into the course. When you log into the course and you click on the Announcements tab, any new announcements that I've sent to the entire class will be present. You should read through any announcements that you have not already read through. Uh, because this is how I'm going to communicate with the class as a whole. If I have something really important to send to the entire class, I'm going to send it through the Announcements tab. In addition, I will also send at least two announcements out per week. One will have um, a summary of what you should be working on each week, and the second will be a list of all of the hours I'm available for office hours each week. And so the first thing you should do every time you log into the course is you should always go to the Announcements tab and read any new announcements. The Syllabus tab will take you back to the syllabus. We've already talked about that, so I'm going to skip over it. The Grades tab will show you an accurate representation of your grade at any particular time in the semester. However, please keep in mind that if you have an A through Modules 1, 2, and 3, and you don't do any work for Modules 4, 5, and 6, the highest grade in the class that you can receive is a 40%. So it may be a little misleading because it will say that you have a 98 out of 100% of the things that you've turned in so far, so keep that in mind. The chat tab is how I will do my online office hours. One of the great things about the chat tab is that if you log in and you write a question, even if I'm not there, when I log in for my next set of office hours, I'll see your question so I can reply back to it. And so you can log in if you have a non-time sensitive question. You can log in when it's ever convenient for you and you can leave your question. The next time I have office hours, I'll log in, I'll answer your question. And then again, when you feel like logging back in, you can log back in and see the answer. The last tab, I'm not going to click on, it's the My Success tab, but you should click on it. The My Success tab is an initiative through the college to let you know how you're doing in your classes. And so some teachers may or may not be using that My Success tab.